In this video, I thought I'd just talk about the raw processing on the Panasonic GH6. And this is quite a nice little feature, to be honest, if you're um, out and about and you kind of want to process images a little bit and you know you, you don't want to put them onto um, put them onto a laptop or a tablet or anything like that you, you can actually do it straight out of the camera which is quite a nice little feature to be honest so um, if we jump into the camera and then we jump into the menu and then we're in the uh, the sort of play icon menu which is process image that's the third one down so um, it's uh, beneath the two playback options third one and then you've got um, raw processing. And if you click on that, obviously to do this, you will need to have been shooting, you know, raw images to, to be able to kind of utilize this feature. So if you're shooting just JPEGs, then um, you'll need to set that. So you're shooting either just raw or raw and JPEG. Um, and then essentially you can go through here now and um, you can you can start selecting um, uh, select pictures that you want to uh, kind of process. So, if we jump into this one, for example, and then now we're in the raw processing screen, so we can kind of come through and we can make um, different alterations on um, on the image. So you can see here we've got um, white balance options where we can do it for uh, auto white balance or the presets or so you know if you've got your white balance a little bit wrong in shot you can quickly come through and you know either warm it up or cool down the colors a bit just to uh, just to make it look right and we've got things like brightness correction so this image actually probably is a little bit bright um, you've got two options for the way you do it you can either have um, if you press display you can either have this comparison comparison screen which um, to be honest is a little bit small for my liking quite a lot of the time but if you hit display it will bring you back up here and then you can use the uh, the wheels on the camera to um, to actually go through and, and make the settings so if we wanted to we we could bring it down just just a tad and then we can set that and then you can see it's applied that change and we can come in and we can even do things like um like photo style which is quite nice so uh you know you can flick it into vivid natural uh we've got flat and we've even got the uh some of the black and white photo options so we could kind of we can come in and we could we could save it as one of those so if we hit set then you can see we're in black and white um what it might do actually <coughs> just because we're not going to be able to see it very well if we stay in that one. So if I just for the minute jump back out into standard, just set like that. Um, you can see I, I won't run through every option because um, you know most of them are fairly self-explanatory, and you, you know you've got things like contrast, which is um, which is useful. You've got highlights, you've got shadows, uh, saturation. So you could kind of jump into that and. You could add a bit more saturation to your image if um, it, it was a bit flatter than, than you wanted to shoot or you can sort of desaturate the image a little bit if you wanted to. So that's quite a useful feature to have. And then we've got things like hue, uh, noise reduction, obviously a really useful one, uh, sharpness. And then we've got this more settings option so you can jump into there. And you can you you've essentially just got a few options in there to do a few things. You can revert it back. Um, you can change the color space if you want to Adobe RGB. Um, you can also change the picture size. So, you know, if you're um, if you are just wanting to save it out for social or something, then it might be that you want to save one of the smaller sizes out because 22 meg is obviously quite big for for an image so um, you've got that option there and then you've also got the option of which card slot you save it out to so by default it's just going to save it to the card slot that the image is already on um, but you you can say you know save it to CF Express or save it to SD card by default so that's quite nice you've got those those kind of options there and uh, you can also um, it, once you're done <laughs> you can begin processing it and then you can just jump in you've got your before and after which we haven't done a great deal to the picture so it doesn't look much different but you can hit save as new picture and then we're still in the raw processing screen but what would have happened is it would have saved us 
you can just about see I changed the brightness a little bit so it's not particularly easy to see but it saved us out a new image and you can see this was the raw um, raw and JPEG version and this one actually now is just a JPEG version so we've done a little bit of raw processing to the photo in the camera and then you know we can send that straight out to um, you know say social channels or, or, or something along those lines so it's just quite a nice little feature to have in the camera to be able to do a little bit of raw processing and um, yeah hopefully um, hopefully you found that useful if you have give the video a like um, if you want to find out more about the Panasonic GH6 then please check out the playlist on this channel and uh, please subscribe